So in cases where, you know, black families are split up more often, statistically, uh, this would have more to do with black men than white men. This isn't even a white issue if you want to look at statistics. Um, same with white men being imprisoned. Black people are imprisoned more often in America than white people. In these cases, I think that it's more important to hear what black MGTOW has to say than what white MGTOW has to say. Like, uh, Big J XXX. Greetings and citations. Uh, this video serves as a sequel to uh, the video titled The Envious Nature of the Older Black Man. And the reason I'm doing a sequel is because uh, I want you to check the links, by the way, because it'll serve as you know for your your references it will show you but what just happened a couple weeks ago a couple days ago the master teacher B just did a video series on the black brain trust and myself and the thing is what he did to me and to the Black Brain Trust demonstrates is a prime example of the envious nature of the old baby boomer black male and his jealousy yes yes his jealousy of younger youthful black men see you know in in and I gotta say this too we gotta ask this question though right what's the difference big J what you talking about you see we gotta go back in time and see and th there is a live stream that was titled where where black women African American women was referred to as bulldogs where this is around the time of the April Mason affair where black women was on the panel and they was talking about why they're perceived to be a bulldog and you know and, and you know black women don't have protection you know that same old crap you keep hearing right and yes, I'm saying crap because I'm tired of hearing it. It's ad nauseum at this point. Um, you know, it's getting out of hand. As if other women are not getting the same treatment. So, I got to ask the BGS. What's the difference between April Mason and Hannah Pearl Davis a few years ago a few years ago there was a woman named April Mason a dating coach a black female dating coach and I think this would happen around I want to say 2018 2019 and uh, she calls a an issue online she calls an issue online where she got up on social 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 media oops some, something stabbing me when she got on social media and said that her or her cousin 
or both, I'm assuming it was her cousin uh, uh, only, was stalked and harassed by a black man. Saying that black men was harassing and stalking her cousin, yada, 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 yada. Uh, I think this happened in Atlanta, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Then it came to find out that the story of the stalking, of the harassment, never came to light. That the story in, was proven to be a fabrication, if you will. But all you Negroes who follow BGS Ignore. Oh, she's a bulldog. Black women are bulldogs. They don't need. They don't need protection. Black women are bulldogs. They don't need protection. That the fans of the master teacher. BGS Ignore. Black Diagnostic Speaks. Black Pill Diagnostics. Whatever he calls himself these days on his various, his four or five YouTube channels. So where is the smoke? B. Jess. So years later, Years later, the pandemic hit America, hit the globe. The entire planet Earth was was rocked by the by this certain uh, infliction and raise raise the the provenance of the the Godfather, the saint. Of the manosphere, the late great Kevin Samuels. When Kevin Samuels left this planet in May of 2022, a new figure arise out of out from the what y'all call the white manosphere and into the black manosphere. She was held a hero along with Andrew Tate and uh, real film Sapien. But y'all know her by the name of Hannah Pearl Davis. Y'all, I'm going to ask a question. Later on, after I explain this. I want to say a special shout out to uh, Uncut Underground. Thai City and Remil, right? Despite how, despite what you think of Remil and and to extent Thai City, they undercover a certain uh, uh, a certain issue concerning the woman named Pearl. Back when Pearl was a student in high school. And yes, the link will be in the description box about this because I'm not going to talk out of my rear end. I back things up what I say. I back things up. But anyway, when Pearl was doing her her origin story when she was in high school and, you know, she was on Tik TikTok talking about why she hate men and why men this and and then she talked about she alluded to a story about her coach or her trainer or whoever the case may be but I guess she was in sports for you know she is a a huge tall woman and her coach was a black man an African American man and her being a redhead white woman from the Midwest, uh, birthed from high privilege, 
and uh, and so forth come from a stream of money so long story short she left you know she graduated high school left home came back and then find out that the that the black gentleman the black gentleman was uh, going to coach Pearl's sister was going to coach Pearl's sister so so she put it upon herself a year or two years later you know being a college person she said though that he was trying to groom her into uh, having underage relations groom her into a, a way to have a, a uh, um, well I don't know how to explain it to y'all and since it's you, YouTube it's best for me not to say the word and then you hear statements like this sure that's interesting you, she, she me to the black man and 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 that doesn't that doesn't matter in like, other words I, I think hold on hold on you asked me a question right are you asking okay. me my opinion or i did i did oh you want to make no i did my bad which no, one I, I i asked i asked my bad okay Go ahead. what did i say to be in it right she's a tool she's an object she's Boom. something to be used for to actually do something further do i same thing with nick fuentes i don't care we're gonna have a woman who is used to advance the cause for black men in the age of Donald Trump. Because the black manosphere needs an advocate to help black men in their quest for respect from the black women's and the black women's and they willing to sacrifice their freedom their manhood even their their souls just to have a lick back at the African American woman or women in general. But like I asked BGS, and there's a reason why I kicked BGS off my panel the other day. Yes, I kicked him off my panel because I'm getting tired of grown men acting immature. So I'm going to do this as a video instead of doing this as a live stream. What's the difference between April Mason and Pearl? If April Mason has all of this work, April Mason was dragged. April Mason and her cousin was exposed video after video after video after live stream after live stream and, and these hyperbolic answer uh, uh q a's and in these hyperbolic and, and crisis level live streams as if what april mason done is like the meteor crashing to the earth on what's the movie called armageddon but then again I, i'm more of a fan of that movie uh uh, what's that other movie with Morgan Freeman? Deep Impact. I'm more a fan of that one. It has more of a uh, less of a uh, well, maybe maybe because there, there was a black president, more, more, 
Morgan Freeman played the black president. That's why I like that movie better. But but anyway, the point is, right? The point is, you Negroes like BJS can sit there on your tail feather and willing to sacrifice your freedom because because of Pearl. Because April Mason got black men in trouble. Or has the potential to get black men in trouble. Because they said they were stalked and harassed by by black men. By or a black man. Falsely accused of that. But when it came to Hannah Pearl Davis, she ruined a black man. The black man's name can be identified on certain levels on YouTube. But the thing is, that black man. When it comes to white women tears, black men get hung. But we get people talking about therefore the black man is fear and, and you know and therefore this and and therefore you know we need we need black men to be respected because the black because the Keishas and the Quantishas and and and, and, and the Matishas in the damn hood won't act right. You rather to sacrifice your fellow black brethren on the words of a white woman, of a fascist, racist, white female. You're silent on that. So what's the difference between her and April Mason? CBGS, you are the problem. People who follow you are the disease that need to be cured. Y'all are a cancer. Y'all are a a jumping jack flash of of the, the you know of this mental gymnastics that you try to <laughs> you know you try to put out on everybody else. No, you hate black women so much. Yes. Yes, y'all do. Let, let's let's not let's not let's not sit there and uh, uh, mince words here. You hate black women, and you willing to sell your soul, your freedom, your constitutional right, because you suck at dating, suck at life, suck at love. So BGS, I know that you listen to this video. I know that you you are hearing what I'm saying in these 16 plus minutes, 16, 17 plus minutes of this presentation. See, the thing is, BGS, I can dissect and deconstruct this argument from you in your lame attempt of excuses and hypocrisy see you're not man enough or or you say this be just you are not you don't have the mental capability the mental fortitude you don't have the desire the desire to be honest Check out my last video, the inverse nature of the black male. I think I might do a part three, a third of this trilogy of the first of November. No, scratch that. The first of December. Uh, wave. Yes, yes, I'm going to, have to do this, y'all. But anyway, like, share, subscribe. Big J's out. Have a good one.